Let's go and explore ecosystem. So it will be a little bit um, overview of ecosystem, what it is and how it's work. And we will have a special section of tutorials. So we're going a little bit more in depth with ecosystem. So for this one, let's for now, we'll create a simple plane right here. And this is will be area where we populating with ecosystem. As we look before on the replicator, or scatter objects, it take objects and scatter them around. So let's see what is different between ecosystem. To apply ecosystem, we have several options. We can actually go in and paint as a paint tool. We can hit global on all landscapes, or we can go select and start painting on the um, currently object that was selected. And as a painter, it is um, that's precisely what it says brush you can see right here we can go um, add objects let's go for example we'll go add a rock and it's take a little bit time till it's preloading the mesh of the um, rock okay let's go to add also plant and you notice we also can import objects so you can have to your different object and as we paint right here you can see it start placing so in its placing rocks and trees as we're painting around so this is way is one of the way to use the ecosystem and nice things all those plants you remember i said before there are species so they're not exactly same same as all the rocks you can see it's a species or type of the rocks the plant around we have some properties that can help us um, with ecosystem so on the top we have it can select modify adjust stuff delete it we can also populate use the eraser play single instance change colors repositioning and it's more right different options right here we also can create our brush and save it as well if we need it we also have a global settings what how it's work currently it's like airbrush we can increase brush radius you can see it's much bigger now um flow how much of them flow with a brush a fallout from the brush edges so it will make smooth transitions and also uh, we have a scale of the size so we can increase and it will be you can see it will be much larger currently it does not paint because some limit of the density was set so if we uncheck limit density you can see we can place very crazy amount of the elements around okay you know what let's go ahead right here i don't want to save this brush we just can go and erase all the elements so it is work like a normal brush like a tool okay this is one way as using okay let's go close it the other ways also we can access ecosystem by working with the object material so let's open material for our plane and when we add a new layer and we'll convert this to the ecosystem and particles and you can notice right here we have it menu is a little bit different but same things we can preload it our rocks loaded plants but instead we can still painting but instead paint right here so you can see we can open a similar tool for the painting we'll go to use it populate and when we click populate this is start using um more functional placement it's meaning the properties of this we can control it so we can control density we can control interactions actually right here we can control interaction between layers so we can say hey if we have it one rock let's put other rocks around this one so we have an interaction between layers we have a density we can do variable density based it on an image based it on the uh, layers different or different object positioning we can different position uh, placements and offsets so we'll look on this after we also have it more scale of each elements coloring so for example we can make color change based on altitude if we need it also presence of the layer and we'll look at this more in a material editor when we come and you can see all of this 
many different properties options we have so it's quite a bit nice to um, have this flexibility but this is placement or scattering objects and species different it's based on the functions on a back and on a function editor how they all link together and placement again overall this is about a couple ways you can do it by painting or by using the distributions of the material on the specific object and you're not just kind of tied up to this uh, one plane so let's me if i d delete it so you can see it's removed ecosystem as well we can also paint just on a normal ground so when you create it you can click right there and you can see we can global okay let me go right here and we do right click it's painting one way or we can select oops, right there and we can also select and use a different painting tool for this okay let me switch to the pop lead and there you go so we have it in this way we don't need any plane so we can just paint directly on the our terrains